Cancer remains the most commonly diagnosed cancer among men in this country. About one out of every eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in his lifetime. It's the second or third leading cause of cancer death of men, which is why there is a group of men here in the upstate actively talking about it. Well, Fox Guys' Arthur Mondale joins us now with their name and their mission. Arthur. Justin and Tori, it's called Us Too, a group of male survivors who say they found a solution that the doctors and hospitals can't provide. For the bulk of his 27-year career, retired Navy Commander Bob Milks remained vigilant on the high seas. You're stressed. Little did he know he'd face stress and uncertainty at home. The doctor and I had to decide what to do. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer, then came two more battles with cancer. He says what he needed was a group. There was no nothing for me to, to, to fall upon. The US2 Prostate Cancer Education and Support Group has helped men like Vietnam veteran Steven Schindler, a prostate cancer survivor diagnosed in 2016. Not only will he, he find hopefully answers to all his questions or most of his questions, uh, but he'll find a lot of guys that have gone through the, either the same treatment or they're on the same path. The Harvey Floyd chapter meets every first Monday of the month. Spouses are also invited to learn more about programs, treatments, latest technologies, and support. Everybody's path is different. You know, everybody's going to have a different uh, uh, outcome. You need to be vigilant about monitoring these things. Radio surgery oncologist Dr. Daniel Freed says men beginning at age 45 should be getting prostate specific antigen or PSA screenings, but some men may need to begin sooner. Also for African American men or men with a strong family history of prostate cancer, they might start screening at age 40 rather than 45. Us Too also does group doctor visits or field trips. The CyberKnife is a radio surgery treatment machine at Gibbs Cancer Center they've recently visited. They're really helping to educate people and to let them know that there's no stigma attached to this. This is a disease and when we figure out that you have it, then we need to figure out then what to do about it. There's not enough awareness of it. Now again, us two meets every first Monday of the month and would like to see their monthly attendance get back to pre-pandemic levels. To learn more, just visit our website. Arthur Mondale, Fox Carolina News.